The snacks are just for the bunch, so Mom's put them in our super secret box. No one else knows about it. Surprise! <laughs> That's pretty funny, Barry. <gasps> Unless that's the last crunchy snack. Then it's not funny. It's the last one, Russell. But the others ate them too. Others? <laughs> <laughs> A bunny stop <stopped> peas! <laughs> Careful <Whoa>. the delicate! <laughs> hey kids! Hey moms, why are all the bunnies here so late? They're sleeping over, Becca. Lola really wanted to go to the Wagtail Woods school reunion tonight. What's a reunion? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's that vegetable that makes your eyes water. Wait, no, that's an onion. <laughs> a school reunion is when grown-ups who went to the same school have a party and chat about the good times they had together. Hey, you both went to Wagtail Woods School? Go Wagtail Woods! <laughs> Why are you at the Onion? <laughs> We'd love to go to the <laughs> reunion, Russell, but we promised to look after the bunnies and put them to bed. You should both go. I'll stay here and put the bunnies and Benny and Shelly to bed. No problem. Really? All to bed? I go to bed every night. I'm an expert. Go, Becca! <laughs> and you'll have help from the bunch. We all go to bed every night, so we're experts too. We are? Go, bunch! OK, we'll take our phones so we can stay in touch. And the reunion finishes early, so we'll be back in an hour. Thanks, bunch. And remember, we're close by and on the phone. Adventures, or should I say, Dreamland's calling. Who has some ideas about the best way to get to sleep? Delicious acorn milk. I love a good bedtime story. Don't forget about lovely lullabies. Uncle Ned makes up the best ones. Great ideas, Bunch. But look, the little ones have already gone out to bed. This is going to be easy peasy. Shh, they're all probably fast asleep. <gasps> uh -oh. oh, no. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Hmm. I know. Whenever I won't go to bed on time, Mom's does her very serious mom's voice. <clears throat> okay, children. Had your fun. Time for bed now. I know who you're pretending to be. John Wolfenstein. Rock on. And woo! Okay. Bring on the acorn milk. Luckily, I always carry an emergency supply. Ugh. Come and get it! Fresh acorn milk! Sorry, dude. We're bunnies, not squirrels. Got any carrot juice? Hmm. Oh, who am I kidding? It's not flaring up, not even a little bit. Come on, Russell. We're the bunch. Adventure's always calling. Indoors or out. In fact, I think I can hear it right now. All I can hear is the rain. Once upon a time in some woods, quite a lot like Wagtail Woods, but you know, a bit more magical, there was a young squirrel called Russell. Russell? That's my name. Is this Russell guy strong and brave? The strongest and the bravest squirrel there ever was. I knew it. Keep going, keep going. So Russell, the strong and brave squirrel, was walking through the forest with his cow when he met somebody strange with the offer of a magical trade. Wait a second! This isn't just gonna be the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, is it? But like, Russell and the Beanstalk? No, this is a totally new story. Uh, uh. Even from outside in the rain, it sounds like Jack and the Beanstalk, Becca. Okay, it might start like Jack and the Beanstalk, but did I mention that in this story, Russell is, um... <gasps> A pirate? A pirate? This is the best story ever! Pirates are okay, I guess. Maybe I'll sit in for a while. Pirate Russell was taking his pirate cow, Long Daisy Silver, to the fair, when suddenly a crafty <gasps> gnome jumped out of nowhere. <gasps> Wait, what? I'm a gnome? <sighs> okay, then. <clears throat> Greetings, Pirate Russell. I'm here to offer you a trade. Your pirate cow for some of these magic acorns. Magic acorns? Wow, wow, wow! Oh, 
I mean, you're invest me, hearty. You have yourself a deal. Here, be me cow. Uh, uh, uh. Those are magic acorns, Pirate Russell. I wouldn't eat them if I were you. <laughs> yeah, what good are acorns if you can't eat them? <gasps> I know, I'll bury them for safekeeping. And maybe later I can try them in for regular edible acorns. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm it's okay, glad you heard and we'll get into the world. Ooh, wow, I like this cake. Hello there. Ahoy, I'm Pirate Russell, the most feared squirrel on the seven seas. But don't worry, I'm actually quite nice once you get to know me. And then the brave superhero Nightbeak swoops down from the sky. Nightbeak whisks the villagers of Nest City from the rising flood. They cheer, tweet, tweet, hooray, the end. Did you like the story? I didn't like it. I loved it! <laughs> I thought you would. Nightbeak is so cool, Pops. He goes on exciting missions and helps everybody in Nest City. Nightbeak's exactly the kind of superhero I want to be. <gasps> hey, maybe all of the bunch could be superheroes with me. We can go on super good special missions. What shall I call you, superhero Becca? Oh, uh, you can call me Superbird. Okay, Superbird. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take this wing string. I got it when I was a kid. It helped Nightbeak, and it can help you, too. Mm. Thanks, Pops. Superbird is off to save the day. To the clubhouse. <coughs> Sylvia, Russell, Pedro, meet me at the clubhouse. I have super big news. On the way, Becca. This could be good. Or bad! Coming! Did she say super or supper? Either way, hand there! The villagers shouted, tweet, tweet, hooray! The end! <gasps> that story was macadamia! And look, Pop gave me a wing string. It used to be his. We can use it as Wagtail Woods' first ever superheroes! Wanna hold on to it, Sylvia? A real wing string. It's going in the bag. I hope there's some exciting adventures out there for us today. Nightbeak-sized adventures, but not too scary. But when you're superheroes, you're guaranteed adventures. Am I right? So right. Oh, yeah. Possibly. Then let's dress up for action. <laughs> <laughs> Wagtail Woods, at long last, has its very own superheroes. Superbird, power, always thinking. Kabam! <laughs> Wonder Worm with an elastic body, safely padded, with the ability to see danger everywhere. As long as my super goggles are clean, boom! Ultimate Bag Girl, at your service. Need something? Check the bag. Bam! And I'm the Mighty Acorn. I'll shoot through anything with my mighty choppers. Go run! Are you wearing underpants on your head? You bet! And together we are... The, the Wagtastic Four! Adventures Calling! <laughs> Don't look. Keep those eyes closed. Okay, you can open them now. Ta-da! Wow! It's a little clubhouse inside our big clubhouse. Oh, it looks very cozy. It's super cozy, and it's perfect for hiding. <laughs> well, almost perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like being outside. Hmm. There, now it's like being outside, inside. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go camping. Yeah, pretend camping. I'll make the pretend campfire, and then we'll get some pretend marshmallows and... No, I mean real camping. Outside, outside. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. We could camp right down there. Or we could go even further, like the edge of Wagtail Wood. I was thinking we should go there. <gasps> Pointy Peak? Peak? You sure you don't want to just camp here? <sighs> I'll blow on you when you can pretend you're on top of a windy mountain. It's so far, Becca. Guys, we can handle this. 
We're Wagtail Rangers. We know the Rangers' motto by heart. Always be prepared. And we'll go with our fearless ranger leader, Pops. Come on, bunch, adventures calling. Pretend camping alone is no fun, so I'm in. Woohoo! Pointy Peak, here we come. An overnight camping trip to Pointy Peak? That's a splendid idea. Oh, I'll finally get to use my new tent. That tiny thing is a tent? Well, this isn't just any tent, Russell. It's the super deluxe insulated ventilated family size mega comfort tent. A most excellent gift from moms. Now I'll help you all pack. I've got loads of gear in here. <laughs> Actually, we want to pack our own backpacks. Are you sure you know what to take? It is your first camping trip. We can handle it, Pops. We're Wagtail Rangers. Always be prepared. Well, OK. Shout if you need help. Tunes for dancing, board games, ooh, and of course, real marshmallows. Puffles the unicorn, a top hat, in case there's some dancing, and my umbrella hat. My not a chino maker, walnut jerky. Oh, I almost forgot. Instant acorn soup. Mm. My blankie, a first aid kit, a backup first aid kit, and metal helmets in case there's a meteor shower. 